This is one of my favorite books. It's called Improv Wisdom by Patricia Ryan Madsen. And if you can see on the cover, the axiom is don't prepare, just show up. And so that's what I'm going to do in this video because I have no idea what I'm going to say. Um, when Patricia calls this improv wisdom, what she's talking about is when you get up on stage and it's kind of improv, you know, sort of like comedy type of thing. And Patricia Madsen was taught improv and acting at Stanford for like 28 years or something. And her class was sold out like every year, um, a great, great class. And this is, she has like 13 maxims in here. And this goes way beyond improvisation. If you are an artist of any kind, if you're, if you're a writer, an actor, anybody that's creating something from scratch, the principles of improv apply absolutely. Like one of um, Patricia's principles is, again, don't prepare, just show up. And the basic thing is just to put your ass on the stage and just be ready for anything in a kind of a zen state of mind. Don't psych yourself out with rehearsal or anything like that. Another one of her maxims is say yes to everything. Like if, if you're in an improv exercise with another person and the other person says, ooh, there's a tiger coming across the stage. The worst thing you can do is say anything negative. No, there's no tiger there. Immediately the, the act completely stops. So the trick is to sort of go with it. Yes, yes, oh, it's a very little tiger. I never saw a tiger so small. And look at that thing between his claws, that kind of thing. It keeps, keeps the action going. But the real thing I want to say is those of us who are fiction writers, or who are creating anything from scratch, you know, where we're starting with nothing and we're coming up with something, we go by the principles of improv, whether we realize it or not. If you're telling a story, you start with a scene, you don't know where it's going. I mean, you can, you can lay it all out and everything that you want, but in the bottom line is, it's a, it's, a, it's a species of improvisation where you move into the unknown. And you're not really sure where a scene's going to go, where the whole story's going to go. But you trust in it, you say yes, and you let it go. There's a great scene in Out of Africa starring Meryl Streep and Robert Redford that is exactly on this subject and is exactly true to fiction writing. I'm going to try to, you know, bring it back here and spitball a little bit. The scene is at uh, Meryl Streep plays Baroness Blixen, who became Isak Dennison, the great Danish writer. And this is when she was in Africa running a coffee farm. And um, she fell in love with this real life guy, this is a true story, Dennis Finch Hatton, played by Robert Redford. And one night out at the farm, they had had dinner, Finch Hatton was visiting with his friend Barkley Cole, and it was after dinner, the three of them were sitting around the fireplace, and Finch Hatton, i.e. Robert Redford, says to Meryl Streep, tell us a story. So Meryl Streep is game for that. And she says, well, you know, in Denmark, when I would tell a story, she's from Denmark, to my little nieces and nephews, they would always give me the first sentence. So Robert Redford, as Dennis Finch Hatton, goes all along with that, and he gives her a sentence, and it's something like this. There was a wandering Chinese named Chang Su and a girl named Shirley. He stops right there and Meryl Streep in the movie, she sort of thinks for a second and she picks up the ball right from that and she says, who lived in a limehouse over a studio where bump it a bump it a bump. And the gist of this scene is that Meryl Streep as Baroness Blixen, i.e. the great writer Isak Dennison, makes up like a three hour story, beat by beat by beat, moment by moment by moment. And the way they shoot the scene is they do a bunch of dissolves, where Meryl Streep starts telling the story, and then they kind of dissolve to obviously an hour later, she's deeper into the story, dissolve to another hour later. And when the scene ends, you can see that Redford and his friend Barkley Cole are just absolutely mesmerized by this story. It's like listening to Scheherazade and the Arabian Nights. But the gist of what I'm trying to say and bringing it back to improv wisdom is that 
The storyteller makes up the story moment by moment by going into the unknown. And that is what improv is all about. Whether you're uh, painting, whether you're choreographing a dance, whether you're writing a song or a novel or a screenplay, it's all about the principles of improvisation. And this book is just a wonderful book for kind of putting you in that frame of mind to trust the unknown and to kind of step into it. So a great book. Improv Wisdom by Patricia Ryan Madsen.